Hey everyone, it is grocery haul day in a hoodie again because the weather's weird in East Tennessee in the spring. Anyways, today we went to Aldi's and Walmart, reverse order. We went to Walmart, then Aldi's, but I show Aldi's first, then Walmart. Anyways, I just now realized that. Normally I say, today we went to Walmart and Aldi's, but then I usually show Aldi's first and then Walmart. Sorry if that frustrates you guys. Anyways, let me turn around and show you what we picked up for our family of six for one week. Somehow, this was all we needed. Not even 100% sure how, why, any of that, but anyways, let's just go with it. Two boxes, starting with all these, two boxes of the six count corn dogs. We will probably do with just one each, but I went ahead and just picked up two just in case anyway. So there's two of those. Two of the pancake on a stick, which is basically breakfast corn dogs. These are for easy breakfast. The reason I did buy two of these is that um, now that we're family of six right now, there's, uh, you know, there's six of us. For the breakfast ones, when we're traveling, we do literally just these, nothing else. So we do need two each per person, and since there's 10 in a box, I did need two boxes for that. Hash buns are gonna be for hash brown casserole over Easter weekend. I'm buying that the week ahead because the freezer item that I can uh, put in the freezer and wait for Easter. But that is an Easter, Easter stock up. These uh, baked cheese crackers, normally we get the regular ones. They didn't have like the regular cheddar ones so we picked up the extra toasty these go with our soups for lunches during the week one box of the uh organic instant out instant apple cinnamon oatmeal it actually has like apple chunks in it this is a pantry stock up and then this will be for this week this is their variety box the reason why we like all these variety box in case you're new is that it has what we call like a mix of a spice box and a fruit box like normally you would get like maple and brown sugar apple cinnamon cinnamon spice and then like plain and some other ones but this one has like those spice ones and then two that you would get in like a normal fruity variety box peaches and cream and strawberries and cream there are more peaches and cream in there than any other flavor we also picked up one box of these golden round crackers my middle one asked for this coconut cacao gluten-free oats it's uh granola she eats it sometimes as cereal sometimes as a snacky granola I gave in and bought a candle because I found a scent that I finally just like really, really wanted. It's their spring iris one. They have it in the big size and the smaller size. And that is their Hunt Huntington, Huntington, there you go, Huntington Homes brand. But that is their brand that they, that Aldi's carries. Two bags of steamed broccoli, best variety anywhere I've found so far. And five minutes in the microwave and it's done. Super easy. Gala apples because they wanted apples for their fruit for this week. One bag of the Italian salad. Hoping that lasts one meal. For a travel stock up, all these does not sell just spoons. And when we travel, sometimes we do oatmeal. So I needed some just spoons, but it'll be okay. We'll also have knives and forks just in case we need them. Three containers of the whipped cream cheese spread. Um, is there for like th literally three different meals. A breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Prosciutto provolone cheese and the breadsticks. There's two packs of these. These are for Matt for two easy lunches for this week. Also for easy breakfast for this week. He's getting three of the snack packs. These are three packs of snack packs that they sell at Aldi's. Matt only has 10 minutes for breakfast. These work great for him for that. It has the pepper jack cheese, raisins, and honey roasted peanuts in this pack. There are three different flavor packs that they have, and they're all three different. But for him, for like a 10-minute breakfast that he has, it's perfect for him. Two cucumbers, also for lunch for this week, one dozen eggs. These are new to us. When we had breakfast at Acker's Hus on our first Disney trip, our first day at Epcot, we had breakfast at Acker's Hus, hoping that reopens soon. But we, I had smoked fish for the first time, and you serve it cold, and I really liked it, and some of my kids like it. Some of them don't. One of them's never tried it. So what we're gonna do is there's actually six of these. Do I actually think we need six of these? No. Are they expensive for six? They're like $4.30 a pack. No, but I wanted to allow for if they really like it, there'll be more. If not, Matt will have plenty of snack for this week and I might help him finish it off as well. Why did I put that upside down? <laughs> Starburst jelly beans. The only flavor of jelly beans I ever found that I liked as a kid were the Starburst ones. This pack is only the reds. It's the watermelon, the strawberry, and the cherry flavors. I am not a huge fan of cherry, but I do like watermelon and strawberry, so I figure the kids are going to get all the cherry ones, so I'm going to get watermelon and strawberry. It's not just for me. It's just, I normally don't do like candy. This is one of the candies that I really like. So I was like, you know what? It's Easter time. Why not? Four cans of the sirloin burger with country vegetables uh, soup for our one lunch for this week. 
uh, three packages of the dried mangoes, one bag of sweet potato chips, one pantry stock up of original syrup so that we can do uh, pancakes again. Let's see, I missed a couple things. All right, one container of sour cream, two bags of Mexican style shredded cheese to do a chip dip for an easy meal one day this week. Uh, one half gallon of lactose free milk, two gallons of the 2% milk for everybody else. Double checking again because I normally forget something. At the moment, I don't see anything. So, skipping all the aquatic uh, decor that's on my table and is eventually going to make it up in the bathroom whenever we are not running around like crazy. Anyways, let's go. So, Walmart. Two bags of the On the Border Cafe style chips whenever I'm doing chip dip nights. My favorite is the on the border. I will do all these if I'm on a tighter budget, but I saw these and was like, you know what? I'm getting them. So I did. Red Baron, Red Baron pizzas because they were the cheapest frozen pizzas. We have a four cheese. We have a um, meat trio. I was trying to see if this is a thin crust. It doesn't say that it is. And one classic crust supreme. Supreme. Oh, yeah. So it says brick oven crust. Okay. So it is slightly different somehow. I don't know. But we like those three. <laughs> one bag of the string cheese. Yes, it's open. I ran out the door without my breakfast this morning. So that was one of the major reasons why I got the string cheese. But it's okay. So this is also going to work for on the go breakfast for Matt and for myself for this week. Uh, the Talentis. I will put fetch right here. If you buy $15 worth, which unfortunately the price went down since the last time I bought a Talenti because now it was like a dollar and something short for mine. But if you buy $15 worth, not three containers, but $15 worth, you get 3,300 points back on fetch. Considering that an average receipt has 25 points minimum, 3,300 points is a lot. So I was really happy to do that. And these are really good. And it's just kind of like a splurge thing for Matt and I. Because just because. So I got him the coffee chocolate chip. I do like this one. It has a lot of coffee though. And I usually eat ice cream in the evenings. And coffee in the evening doesn't really help me relax. But it does him. I don't know. I got myself the black raspberry chocolate chip. Um, I also, we've tried the layers ones last time. Which is how we knew the receipt thing was on there. Because we actually have renewed the receipt thing once. But this time, because Walmart went down on the price while the rebate is available, we were a dollar and like 19 cents short. And I wasn't going to buy another $5 container or $4.50 container just to get $3 or 3,000 points back. So, on to coffee needs. So, for daytime, when I actually do have coffee, this blueberry cobbler creamer has become one of my favorites. And since uh, getting the K pods are cheaper at Sam's Rush right now, I bought the blueberry cobbler creamer so I could still have blueberry coffee, but use the vanilla caramel coffee pods from Sam's that are cheaper than the blueberry coffee pods at Walmart. So it's cheap. It is cheaper to do it that way. It's hard to explain. Cheaper to do that way. Two liters of Coke Zero. <laughs> I feel like I'm adding a lot of commentary, but I, I think I hope I'm helping you guys. Just talking, anyways. Uh, two packages of the country gravy mix, just because I didn't want to have to make gravy from scratch this week. One bottle of the Chick-fil-A dipping sauce because we seem to go through a bottle every two weeks. The Mio Energies. This is the Tropical Fusion. This is the K.I. Berry Storm. And we had to run back to Walmart because Aldi's was sold out of anything biscuit. And Walmart was almost sold out of any container with biscuits. I don't know why. But anyways, I ended up with the Grand Flaky Crust. I do like those, so it worked out well anyways. So that is it for our grocery haul. Thank you to all of our members for helping to, uh, support our channel and to help pay for our camera equipment so that we can continue making videos. Thank you to all of you for supporting me with your positive comments. And thank you so much for subscribing and watching, and we will see you next time.